Um, for PA students, what tips would you have uh, for them to excel uh, on a rotation? Yeah, I think emergency medicine is probably one of the uh, more intimidating uh, rotations to do in the clerkship year. I think that going in with an open mind and trying to always challenge yourself, so some of the, you'll have a variety of patient cases to choose from. Try your best not to, you know, choose the case that is very comfortable, you know, you're familiar with, you're more comfortable taking the history and performing physical exam and try to um, always find the case that's going to challenge you and is going to um, give you new exposure and always use the opportunity to kind of learn from other um, uh, preceptors. So um, whether that's your own preceptor, so your PA preceptor or an MD preceptor, but also whoever else you're working with. So getting an idea of what it's like um, in terms of the nurse's scope of practice in the eMERGE and the clerk's role and the different roles and how that works together and the dynamic in the department, I think will really help you prepare um, to see how the PA role can fit in and if that's something that you see yourself in down the line. And lastly, I would say read around cases. So you're gonna see a lot of uh, variety. So um, if one patient case kind of stands out to you, go home and read about that case uh, in terms of like, you know, what was the patient's presentation like? What are the differentials I should have considered? And what should I propose in terms of next steps? So that if a similar case comes around the next time, then you know what to do and, um, and that, case might have its own twist and you could probably read around that as well but that continuously reading around um, cases and continuing to add to your toolbox um, especially during clerkship rotation will really help you in the down the line and how did you prepare for your end of rotation exam for eMERGE I would say that's one of the things I did. So I read around the cases and I would make notes of, um, so I would read the blueprint of the end of rotation exams. And then uh, if I encountered a patient case, then make notes. And then if I didn't, then I would kind of um, read around that at home when I studied and also do a lot of practice questions. So these practice questions were clinical vignettes. So they would give you a situation and then they would ask you a follow-up question. And that I think prepared me in terms of the testing style for uh, ERE's, which is end of rotation exams. What resources have you found helpful in your first year of practice to get you oriented to emergency medicine? Yeah, that's a that's a great question because um, we do use up to date a lot in practice. So sometimes when you're stumped, you kind of look it up. Um, I think a lot of the algorithms that you see on that, or even patient education material that you can provide patients, and um, reading around cases. So whether that be using up to date or talking to a colleague about it and see like you know what their interaction or what their experience has been like with a case that may have been similar um, or that they may have encountered previously um, and also MRAP so EMRAP I'm not sure what it stands for but it is a very good resource so I I'm using that for CME purposes, which is continuing medical education credits, which we're um, expected to complete as uh, working professionals now, but also just to kind of keep in touch with the different, um, the different up-to-date information, evidence-based medicine um, guidelines in emergency medicine, as well as colleagues. Colleagues are always uh, great, especially the very um, experienced supervising physicians who kind of learned as they went through their years of practice and are willing to teach.